in this video I wanted to is a follow-up video to my video on using Telscale uh, tail as an exit node with Ubuntu. Uh, you know, if you're running Ubuntu inside your house as an exit node, then you've got your router pretty much blocking you and protecting you from the internet as a whole. But let's say if you were running this on a, or for some other reason you, you've just got some other type of server running out on somewhere like DigitalOcean or Linode or you know a cloud server provider you can use Tailscale and the firewall to block access except to people in your Tailscale, basically you. I'm gonna log in right now. I've already set up Tailscale on this server and this is just a temporary server. I'm gonna delete this so this IP address is gonna be irrelevant to this demo by the time you see it. Uh, I'm gonna log in on, on the IP address, the public IP address we're going to enable the firewall, then we'll log out, re-log in on the tail scale. We'll see that we won't be able to log in on SSH with the public IP, and then we'll do a test of the uh, exit node. Okay, I'm in. Now, let's, uh, and there's an article on tail scale about this. It's titled, Use UFW to Log Down an Ubuntu Server. And I've already done the part here where I've allowed uh, installed Telescale. We're going to do the sudo allow yummy uf sudo ufw allow. I mean enable. We're also going to put these rules in, the default deny, now we'll check the status. Let's do that again and put verbose in it. You see it's denying incoming connections, but it will still, it should still allow tail scale to go through and it's allowing outgoing connections. Now let's just go down to where we reset everything. Pseudo UFW reload. And I typed that wrong. And Service SSH restart. Now we'll exit. Now what we're going to try to do is log back in, but we're going to try first on the public IP address like we just did a moment ago. And what we're going to see is that it shouldn't allow this. You see it's not allowing it because we have the firewall closed, so it won't allow any SSH connections. This makes the server very secure now comparatively because it can't be attacked by random people on the internet. But let's say we need the SSH in. We can just change it, change this, the public IP address to our scale, tail scale IP address. Now I've already copied the tail scale IP address. You can see that in the other video which I'll link to below where I showed you how to set up tail scale in Ubuntu. But now that I use the tail scale address, it's going to go right through. So you see, you can log in protected by a tail scale People on the internet can't attack you. Now, we have that working and we're connected. Let me test it. I've already set this up as an exit node. Remember, I'm, again, see my previous video? I'll put the link in the description below this video. I'm going to set it as an exit node. And I put it as YouTube demo. Now, I can see this little arrow here is acting as a demo. This is the IP address of at Linode or Akame, not my home address. So, my, and let's do a speed test through it. And you see, it's going to Linode, not my home address.
and you'll see it's working fine. I've heard people saying that this doesn't work, but it's working for me. Let's just go to Yahoo or some random web page, and it's working. But our, uh, all our traffic is protected by the tail scale. I mean, so our, our server is protected and hardened because SSH, you know, basically there's no ports open except to people that are logged into your tail scale, machines that are logged into your tail scale. So the public as a whole has no access to try to log in or SSH into your server and hack it. I just wanted to show this is it's a really nice way to secure a server, keep it safe, and you can still use it for your own use and your own needs without any real risk. Now, if you were you running other services on here that you needed open to the public, like a web server or Nginx proxy manager or something, you would need to open those ports. That's another video and another topic. Thanks.